one of his lines, and, and it's sort of a line to live by, is I love my life. And really, what's not to love about his life? He does what he wants, when he wants. My son Bill, he's been with uh, Special Olympics for about 25 years. Um, he's involved in seven sports right now, but powerlifting is obviously his favorite. Um, he trains or he goes to uh, events four out of seven days a week. So we're really busy as a family keeping him involved and he's really busy keeping us involved. Well, I, I like to do powerlifting. I got nine gold medals. You got this. Mm. I think the pride in Bill comes from seeing him succeed and he succeeds so well in everything he does right now. Um, his nine medals um, are cap everything off, but um, when he trains, he trains in the generic gym, and he's actually a world champion in his division in the generic world. The gym was approached by one of the members who is also a sheriff, and um, asked if we would host a amazing event that would support Special Olympic athletes, and the gym was on board with that. You know how this goes. On May 4th, starting at noon, um, we are going to have teams of five come in and participate in seven different events, um, both strength and endurance. On each team, you'll find one Special Olympic athlete and four supporters. It's all in to raise awareness for Special Olympic Alberta and to raise funds for the athletes that actually participate in these events to go forward and make sure they have the resources and the training that they need in order to get into these activities and move forward with their specific events. Nice. So we'd have community peace officers, we'd have the RCMP, the Calgary Police Service, the sheriffs, we have a correctional services officer. So everybody that's involved in law enforcement outfit is involved with the law enforcement torture. Do you have a little more weight next to that? They go down. We All typically right. do okay. about 40 events per year, but the Push Forward Strength Challenge, it's one, uh, the first one of its kind in Calgary, which incorporates obviously the powerlifting and endurance categories. So the entire team has to participate oh, in all okay. seven events. Yeah. All right. I do it. That's on. Special Olympics itself uh, has helped his self-esteem. So it's, it's made him a, a better person, I think. And I think not just the sports, but I think it's the socialization that's been good for him. The organization is, is just run through donations. Um, and so it helps the athletes that we have in the programs succeed in what they're doing and be able to participate in many, many different sports. And so I think the public also needs to see that our athletes are just like everybody else. I will win uh, gold medal. <laughs>